Hi guys. What do we have today? We have predictions for 9 NBA games for December 19th. So, let's get started. Utah Jazz and Cleveland Cavaliers. The Jays have recently performed poorly, losing 3 of their last 7 games. The Cavaliers are on a roll, having won 5 of their last 7 games, and they'll be looking for a 4th consecutive victory today. Lately, the Jays have not been playing well on the road. They lost 5 straight road games, by an average of 10 points. The Cavaliers are back to their winning ways, and this is especially true at home. They've won 4 of their previous 5 home games by an average of 7 points. The Jazz are 5-2 ATS in the previous 7 games in Cleveland, while the under is 10-2 in the last 12 matchups overall. Since Conley's injury, the Jazz have slowed down. I expected that with his comeback, good the Jazz playing would also return, but that did not happen. I believe Markkanen will try to use this game to show that trading him for Mitchell was a mistake in Cleveland, but I don't think it will be enough to achieve much other than a respectable loss. Play Cleveland Cavaliers minus 5. Toronto Raptors and Philadelphia 76ers. The Raptors are on a back-to-back, -back, including travel. They are in a rut right now, having dropped 8 of their previous 10 games overall, and they'll be looking to stop a 5-game losing streak tonight. The 76ers are looking to extend their current 4-game winning streak as they have been on a nice run, winning 7 of their last 10 games overall. The Raptors are among the worst road teams in the league. In their previous 11 road games, they have suffered 8 losses. They dropped 5 straight away games and failed to cover the spread in all 5. They lost by an average of 9 points in those 5 away contests. This season, the Raptors split their four back-to-back -back games. The 76ers have been playing outstanding basketball since James Harden returned to the team, and this is especially true of home games. In each of their last five home games, they have triumphed and covered the spread. The Raptors covered the spread only twice in their last five games against the 76ers in Philadelphia. Play Philadelphia 76ers minus 6.5. Orlando Magic and Atlanta Hawks. The Magic are on a back-to-back. Only 5 of their first 25 games were victories, but they are now aiming for a 7th straight victory tonight. The Hawks have dropped 5 of their previous 7 games, which indicates a serious slump. The Hawks' basketball performance has declined significantly following John Collins' injury. In their previous 5 home games, they had won 3 while covering the spread only twice. The Magic surprised us all with their good playing in Boston, against favored the Celtics team. They played incredibly maturely, despite being a very young team. In the last five games on the road, the Magic have won two of them. They've lost all four of their back-to-back -back games this year, but they've covered the spread in three of those four. There is a possibility that Collins may be available for the Hawks today, which, if it does, will be significant for the Hawks' performance on both sides of the field. Despite my skepticism about the Magic's chances in this game, after two consecutive wins against the favored Celtics team, and great playing lately, I have to allow them to prove that their excellent play and victories are not the consequence of poor play by their opponents. Play Orlando Magic plus 8. San Antonio Spurs and Houston Rockets. The Spurs are now attempting to avoid suffering their third straight defeat, seeming to have cooled down following their three-game winning streak. Although the Rockets have split their last eight games and have been in decent form, they will be looking to snap a two-game losing streak today. Both teams recently found the light despite being among the weakest in the league. This is their second game of the season. The Spurs recently won the first game in San Antonio. Before their last two home losses to the Trail Blazers in Heat, the Rockets had won five straight at home. The Spurs have won and covered the spread in only one of their previous five away games. Because the Rockets are one of the league's top rebounding teams, Jacob Poltel's return to the Spurs squad might be significant for them. On the other side, Keldon Johnson being on the Spurs list of injured players is something that might have a significant impact on how this game turns out. Keep an eye on the Spurs player injury list. In the previous five encounters in Houston, the Spurs are 4-1 ATS. Play San Antonio Spurs plus 4. Dallas Mavericks and Minnesota Timberwolves. The Mavericks have dropped four of their last six games and have been struggling. The Timberwolves are on a back-to-back, -back, but without travel included. They are trying for their third consecutive victory after winning five of their previous nine games. The Mavericks are not a very good road team. They have only been victorious in three of their previous 13 road games this season, but two of those three victories have come in their last five away contests. Lately, the Timberwolves haven't been very successful at home. They have won and covered the spread in only three of their last five home games. Also, the Timberwolves were not particularly successful in back-to-back -back games either. They have lost three of their four back-to-back -back games played this season. 
I know the Bulls are no longer a reliable measure of other teams good playing, but Edwards and Russell's performance yesterday against the Bulls was unlike anything I've seen in a long time. Theirs, as well as the whole Timberwolves team's play, amazed me. Can they repeat such a game against the Mavs? I don't think so. Play Dallas Mavericks minus 3. Milwaukee Bucks and New Orleans Pelicans. The Bucks have been on a roll, having won 9 of their past 12 games. The Pelicans appear to have cooled off from their 7-game victory streak as they are now seeking to put an end to a 3-game skid here. The Bucks play decently, but not quite convincingly away from home. They've won in 3 of their last 5 games but haven't covered a spread in 4 of their previous 5 road games. The Bucks shot 42.3% on the road, ranking worst in offensive efficiency, scoring 103 points per 100 possessions while allowing 107. The Pelicans are on a three-game losing run, but those are away games. They play incomparably better at home. The Pelicans won 12 of the 15 games played in New Orleans this season. They have allowed 107 points per 100 possessions while scoring 115.9 points per 100 possessions in their previous 15 home games this season. In the last five games played at home, the Pelicans won all five and covered the spread in four of those five. The Bucks are a difficult opponent for anyone, but I don't understand why they should be favored in this match. Here I'll back the home team to win and cover the spread. Play New Orleans Pelicans plus two. Portland Trailblazers and Oklahoma City Thunder. The Trailblazers have been playing well lately, winning six of their past eight games. After stopping a dismal five-game losing streak in their most recent game against the Grizzlies, the Thunder will be aiming to gather some momentum in this one. The Trailblazers have been playing incredibly well away from home this season. They won 10 out of 17 road games. In their previous five away games, the Trailblazers have won and covered the spread in three of that five. They will most likely be fully healthy for this one. Despite frequently losing games, the Thunder often surprises us by covering the spread. When it comes to surprises, I believe they surprised themselves, too, in the most recent game against the Grizzlies and convincingly won. They won in three of their last five home games and covered the spread in four of that five home games. For today's game the Thunder have many names on the list of injured players. Regardless of potentially many unavailable players for the Thunder, in this match, only one of the Trailblazers' previous five games against the Thunder in Oklahoma City saw them cover the spread. Play Oklahoma City Thunder plus 8. Los Angeles Lakers and Phoenix Suns. The Lakers are on a back-to-back, -back, and travel is included. They have been playing well lately, they've won three of their last four matches, and they'll be going for a third consecutive win today. The Suns are aiming for their third consecutive victory in this game, showing that they appear to have recovered from their nasty five-game losing run. This is the second game between these two teams this season. In the first game in Phoenix, they defeated the Suns. The Suns have not been playing as well of late as they did at the start of the season. They have only won and covered the spread in three of their last five home games. The Lakers are not among the worst road teams, but they also do not stand out as a team that performs exceptionally well on the road after just winning five of their 14 away games. They won and covered the spread in three of their last six road games. According to the most recent medical report, Anthony Davis won't be available for the Lakers for at least a few weeks. Yesterday the Lakers had a very tough game, in Los Angeles against the not particularly good Wizards. And if the Suns can find themselves without Booker in this one, the Lakers have suffered the greatest loss by not playing Davis, and this is their second game in a row, including travel. I expect the home team to win easily here. Play Phoenix Suns minus 8.5. Charlotte Hornets and Sacramento Kings. The Kings play very well at home. They won 8 out of 12 matches played in Sacramento. After 6 straight away games, the Kings will face off in front of their home crowd tonight. They have won 6 of their previous 7 home games, and they covered the spread in 4 of their last 5 home games. The Charlotte Hornets are currently the worst team in the league. In all, they won only 7 out of 30 games. They won 3 of the 15 games they played away from home this season. This is their second straight game. Yesterday they played against the Nuggets and played well, but they weren't able to win only thanks to Joker, who performed perhaps the best game of the season. No one can claim the Hornets play clearly based on what I saw in this game against the Nuggets, but they just cannot turn their good playing into victory. Head to head, Hornets are 5-2 ATS in the last 7 meetings in Sacramento. Play Charlotte Hornets plus 10.5. Guys, that would be all. See you tomorrow.